Welcome to my lecture online. Here there's something different again. Let's start with the equation based upon what we're reading here. It says that an inlet pipe can fill a water tank in two and a half hours and an outlet pipe can empty the same tank in three and three quarter hours. How long will it take to fill the tank if both pipes are open? Assuming, of course, we start with an empty tank. Well, the equation would normally read as follows. The rate of the first times the time of the first plus the rate of the second times the time of the second equals the whole job done. But in this case, the second, the outlet pipe, is not adding to the tank, it's taking away from the tank. So instead of having a plus there, we may want to make it a minus there. And on top of that, since both the outlet and the inlet pipe will operate for the same amount of time, T1 and T2 are equal, so we can write R1 times T minus R2 times T is equal to 1, and that will solve the problem. The problem, of course, is finding the total time that it will take to fill the tank if both of the pipes are open. So now we need to find rate 1 and rate 2. So rate 1 is equal to the inverse of time 1. In this case, time 1 is 2 and a half hours, so we can, of course, write it as 1 over 2.5, or we could write 2.5 as 5 over 2. So this is equal to 1 over 5 halves, which can be written as 2 over 5. So that would be the rate of the inlet pipe. Now the rate for the outlet pipe. So R2 is equal to 1 over T2, which is equal to 1 over 3.75. Again, it's better to write it in fractional form. So that would be 12, that would be 15 over 4. So that would be equal to 1 over 15 fourths, because 4 goes in 15, 3 and 3 quarter times. So that would be 4 over 15. That would be the outlet pipe. All right, now we're ready to solve the problem. Let's put in the rates. So rate 1 is 2 fifths minus the outlet pipe, which is 4 fifteenths times t equals 1, and now this can be solved for t after we multiply both of the sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. In this case, the lowest common denominator is 15, so we're going to multiply the left and the right side by 15. Okay, 5 goes into 15, 3 times, 3 times 2 is 6, so we get 6t minus 15 goes into 15 once, so 1 times 4 is 4 equals 15. 6 minus 4 is 2t equals 15. Divide both sides by 2 and we get t is equal to 7.5 hours. So that means that in order to fill the whole tank with the outlet pipe left open, which of course is not a smart thing to do, wastes a lot of water, will take seven and a half hours. You know, I just thought of something interesting now that I see this answer. Let's assume that we fill the tank with the inlet pipe open and the outlet pipe closed. We can see that in two and a half hours, the tank would be filled. So how many times can you fill the tank in seven and a half hours? Well, it takes two and a half hours to fill one tank. So 7.5 divided by 2.5 is three tanks. So in 7.5 hours, with just the inlet pipe alone, you can fill three tanks. Now let's say that you want to empty the tank with only the outlet pipe and you can see that the outlet pipe it takes three and three quarter hours to empty a pipe so how many tanks empty the tank not the pipe empty the tank so in seven and a half hours how many tanks can you empty well you can empty two tanks in seven and a half hours so in 7.5 hours you can empty two tanks so now when they work together you fill three tanks in seven and a half hours, you empty two tanks in seven and a half hours, which means you'll have one full tank in seven and a half hours if you have both inlet pipe and outlet pipe open. That's just another way to look at it, and that's how it's done.